Hello everyone, this is Jans Mix and I am drawing the second thumbnail for the Toho Learn Nights Let's Play. Similarly like I was doing the first one, again I'll be commenting the process. And this one will be more focused on Sakuya's body, let's say, and the environment than the actual portrait or, or portrait of, Sak of Sakuya. And this will be her in a pretty simplistic cartoonish comical form, uh, just dodging that knife that uh, that killed me several times in the actual actual play uh, actual playthrough. And yes, I wanted to underline what was the most annoying element of the gameplay for me. And here we can see I am already making the sketch and already making the second uh, sketch layer because that one I had got a little bit messy, so I turned down its uh, its opacity and uh, and made another one. And I simplistically like uh, like the last time uh, drew Sakura Sakuya's outfit. Uh, got no no Sakura Sakuya please. Uh, yeah, I drew her outfit because on my last monitor I of course had the, refer the references as well as some screenshots of the game. And uh, now I'm doing the doing the line uh, line art. I have a thinner line than the last time, and also not completely uh, black, but very very dark uh, very dark gray as you see later this is uh, this is actually gonna quite counter attack me later but we but we will see about that so far i just uh, managed to draw her uh, draw her pose dodging that giant giant knife and drawing heads i try to add some uh, add some dyna uh, dynamics to dynamics to her pose and her uh, and her clothes are also, I mean, relatively complicated compared to stuff I'm usually uh, usually drawing. Usually, when I draw some clothes, I I'm usually pretty uh, pretty uh, pretty simplistic. But yeah, I <laughs> I'm doing quite a details on her sh on her shoes. Uh, considering how small uh, small they are, and here I'm already drawing that uh, giant piece of knife, which is uh, probably supposed to re uh, resemble uh, resemble a bat uh, bat wing in a similar way how it was in the game, and now I'm actually cop uh, copying it. So there is gonna be their uh, their free their free time, so it will be. Uh, three giant sharp bat wings, like uh, like it is sim uh, similar in the game. And after I did few adjustments, we can already do some uh, do some colors. Colors I made print a pretty much similar way as I did in the uh, in the last uh, last picture. Pale skin, silver hair, uh, white and blue and blue outfit. Oh yeah, that tie is gonna be uh, is gonna be gre uh, green later, and yeah, I am using basically just uh, coloring stuff inside by choosing it with the uh, with the magic wand, and in this case it's gonna counter like me uh, counter like me later on. You can uh, you can already uh, already see how the how the color areas are not com uh, not completely accurate, which will be a problem. Uh, which will be a problem later. So, if applicable, this is also gonna be kind of advice for you to avoid uh, to avoid this way of doing things. But yeah, now I actually make three basic shades of the uh, bed blade. And use a, sm a smudge brush to well uh, to well smudge them and uh, and making a little contour of the uh, of the edges and yeah this uh, this contraption is quite a ni uh, nicely gold and now I'm actually moving to already uh, already uh, coloring the uh, the environment here I must say that the uh, the original environment in the game is uh, pr uh, is uh, pretty good. I like that how there there is clear difference between what's in the background and 
and was in the, uh, in the for, uh, foreground. For example, that here in the foreground is that uh, red carpet. And later on, I will also attempt to achieve such a difference in the actual uh, in the actual uh, artwork artwork as uh, as well. Good. Now we almost had the carpet ready, and now yeah, I'm already doing uh, doing the doing the background. And here I was aiming to make the dark uh, back, uh, background dark and making what's in fr uh, in front light, so it will be so it will be uh, clearly visible and uh, and noticeable. And yeah, before before when the background was uh, just plain white, and now there is actually a dark a dark background. I uh, I pretty much like uh, like this one. How Sakuya is uh, standing out, and I am uh, using some really uh, really simple shadows in the uh, in the background, and so uh, and some uh, windows, for example, in a really simple way because it is not really important for the artwork. And yeah, here here I already need to uh, erase uh, erase out the colors which are already going outside of Sakya, which was really uh, really annoying and it was caused by the ba uh, bad use of uh, of things I try I tried to do here anyway I am already doing shades I have one more layer for that which will be uh, which will be usable later on and typically I'm just adding uh, one shade to uh, to all the par uh, other parts of the uh, of the body like because in my uh, in my style I didn't really see a uh, see reason uh, why to uh, why to go more complicated uh, complicated with the, with this but yeah I needed to do little adjustments at uh, at the hand and yeah now I'm coloring the uh, the the hair, and yeah, hair colors is after all a bit more compli a bit more complicated than the rest than the rest of the body, but still uh, still pre still pretty simple. And yes, yeah, here you could see there was few imperfections. And now yeah, now I actually applied a special adjustment layer to the uh, to the uh, to the shades to. To make them darker and thus they will be more dynamic. And now I uh, just added few lines for movement as a kind of special effect to create uh, to create an illusion of Sa of Sakuya actually uh, actually moving. I tried to uh, just do add a silhouette of her, but I didn't like that. And well, yeah, this is the outcome. In the final outcome, would I actually? Kind of cheated and didn't show it in this video is that I added a little glow, a little glow to this glow to the sequoia because after still after I stopped the recording I tried to play with it a little and I like this this uh, this way uh, much more it makes Saku uh, sequoia stand 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 out more and makes her generally more visible so. If you have any uh, any feedback, suggestions, maybe what to uh, what to do next, be sure uh, be sure to write me. And if you're interested in more, you can subscribe to my channel. And with the next episode of the Let's Play, I will also be releasing uh, new speed paint as well. Have a nice day.